Hello, welcome back to my channel. So, today's video I thought I'd give you a real-time update of where I am with my new prosthetic hand and talk about a couple of the accessories that I've decided to include with this build. So here's the new hand. As you can see, I have the winder set up pretty well together, as well as the gear-based grip pattern selector, the gimbal, and a neat little quick release accessory that I've been working on for quite a while that finally came together for this build. Thanks to the printers that Creality sent me to aid me in prototyping my prosthetic hand build, I've been printing a lot more of my designs to make sure that they fit before investing the time and materials to build them out of aluminum. One of the cool gadgets that I've been working on for quite a while is this quick release. So this is a push to lock, twist and pull to unlock quick release device. It's kind of like clipless pedals, but for your hand. Recently I purchased a, a Suron X for commuting back and forth from home to the shop. And with that, it's led me to want a little bit more of a secure grip on the handlebar than what is available from my prosthetic hand. This portion gets mounted onto the handlebar, and this portion is integrated into the palm of my prosthetic hand. As you can see, I made the final version out of aluminum. So really, I think this gadget has all kinds of applications. I mean, for instance, anything that you can mount one of these little pins to, you could have attached to your prosthetic hand and then removed with a twist and a pull. If you're a member of the Missing Parts Club and think that this is a device that would be helpful to you, let me know and I'll direct you to where the print files are so you can try it out for yourself. So I have to say, I don't know if it was the printer that Creality sent me or if this is just how their final version of the sermon turned out, but so far, it's been incredibly reliable. I have yet to, and I know this is going to totally break the streak, I have yet to return to the printer to find a pile of spaghetti. If you can get past that kind of small build size, it's really turned out to be a decent printer. There's links in the video description if you're interested. Well, that's all I have for this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share my videos. And if you have time, leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching.